Piping Support Selector Piping Support Selector assists the user with recommending support member sizes for cantilever beams based on pipe which is resting on the support. The goal of this app is to simplify the beam sizing process for field personnel, designers, or engineers. The user simply enters the pipe resting on the support and the calculator recommends the cantilever support member size. Upon loading the app, the user is presented with a cantilever pipe support. The user then set, sets parameters such as support overall length, support member shape, the distance to the next adjacent support, and the piping which rests on the support. Once all of the previously mentioned input is entered, the user presses the compute button. The user is then presented with a list of members which satisfy shear, moment, stress, and deflection considerations. After the user selects a beam, the program produces several solution pages of calculations for your verification process. Let's look at solving a typical pipe support problem to demonstrate the program in action. If you look closely at the piping configuration, you will see that we are designing a support that is 48 inches or 4 feet overall length. The adjacent supports are not equally spaced. One is 25 feet away and the other is 20 feet away. This support is holding a 12 inch that is located 12 inches from the support attachment point. We also have an 8 inch located 25 inches and a 10 inch located 37 inches from the attachment point. There are unit settings. We can work in decimal or feet or inches. I'll set it right now to work in uh, feet and fractions. Now that's done. The first thing we will do is set the support length to 4 feet. I will then add the piping working from inside to outside. First with the 12 inch pipe, 1 foot from the edge. The pipe is now indicated on the pipe support. Second, the 8 inch pipe which is 2 foot 1 from the edge. Lastly, a 10 inch pipe which is 3 foot 1 from the edge. The support is now loaded with the pipe. Now I need to set the adjacent support lengths. I press the support space and button and add the dimensions. Let's review the instructions so we know everything is entered correctly. So set support length, done. Add piping, none, one or more, done. Set support shape, aha, uh -huh, W. Set support spacing, then press compute. So we're all ready to go. The calculator now knows everything about the loading on the support so we can proceed with hitting the compute button. The calculator now presents me with a list of beams which will support the load. You can choose any of the beams on this list. I'll go ahead and choose the W4 and the calculator presents me with results of both inputted pipe and uniform loading on the beam. The inputted pipe is the load of the piping. In this example, the 12 inch, the 8 inch, and the 10 inch. The uniform loading is 30 pounds per square foot, which is similar to loading up the support with 4 inch pipe spaced approximately at 6 inch centers. The calculator computes both, so you can feel assured that the support will be sized correctly for any pipe which is not presently on the support. We all know that empty space on a support will eventually be filled. This calculator also lets the user know which values it used for moment, shear, and deflection. The results on this page are backed up on the following pages, which allow the user to verify that the calculations are correct. A final page presents the user with dimensional properties of the support beam. The calculator also lets the user check to see if an existing member will support another pipe when you scab onto it. We can go back to the main support screen and act as if we have entered the existing field conditions. We can now test if we can add a two foot section to the, an existing pipe support and add additional piping and recompute. The user can check to see if the existing beam is on the list. This will let the user know if the, supporting, the, the existing support is adequate. 
that's pretty much all the uh, program does. So uh, give it a try, and uh, we hope you like it. Thanks. <laughs>